my name is Charles Decker Barnett and I am the activity director at the Four States Auto Museum and we are here at that place now. It's located at 217 Laurel Street in Texarkana, Arkansas. The museum has been here since 2004. We welcome those that love the automobile of any age, of any type of automobile. And uh, later we will show you some of the automobiles that are on uh, site at this time. This car at the museum now on display and this is the 1914 Studebaker from the brass era and uh, it is on loan to us from a collector in Shreveport, Louisiana and you can see the open touring style that it represents and that time period that it represents. That's, you know that's only two years after uh, the Titanic went down. The next car I want to show you is this beautiful, fully restored 1965 Mustang for the young people that are out there that love the muscle car. That was a specific era in uh, our car history uh, from the 60s through the 70s and 80s. And nothing represents it better than a 1965 Mustang convertible. You've got to come down and see this car. And we have something for you truck people too. I know a lot of people like to restore trucks as well as cars. And this is a beautiful orange 1955 Chevrolet truck, fully restored. You notice the windshield is conclaved on each side. And it's quite a classic. And you gotta come see this baby. And uh, next I want to show you the 1926 Chandler. This is from the 20s. and. But you notice the fancy chrome that is on it, and I bet a lot of you have never heard of a Chandler. Uh, this, was, this went out of business in the Depression, but you can see the high top. This is something similar to what a lawyer would drive, or uh, maybe, maybe a, a clergy would drive. It's fancy with fancy chrome, a little bit fancier than your A model, and we're proud to have it here in our museum. This beautiful 58 Chevrolet and to help show you the 50s we have brought Elvis Presley back from the dead. There he is. <laughs> Actually it's Stephen Yarbury uh, doing a great job being Elvis with his brand new suit and you, when he uh, does Elvis impersonation you got to go see it. But here it is the 50s and Elvis. It doesn't get any better than that folks. And here we are with the wagons that are here in our museum. Of course, there were wagons before there were cars. And uh, this is a hearse that was actually used in the cab by the Proctor Funeral Home. And uh, it was donated to the Four States Fair and then later donated to us. We have restored it. One of our members, Joy Harrington, who worked on it, unfortunately passed away, but we used it in his funeral, so it means a great deal to us. And here it is. We've also used this in the Four States Fair Parade. Then uh, in front of it is a buggy that is a Studebaker. A lot of people don't realize that Studebaker made wagons before they made cars. They even made the Conestoga wagon that settled the West. So we're restoring this uh, one horsepower buggy made by Studebaker and these are two of the, of the nice wagons that are here on display at our museum. At our museum we not only show cars but we show collections of car related items. For instance all of these license plates and signs that are automotive related. We also have a collection of spark plugs. We also have a collection of hood ornaments and we also have collection of neon signs that are both outside the building and inside the building that are auto related and Texarkana history related. So when you come to the museum, you see a major slice of Texarkana's history, you see a major slice of our nation's history, and you see the major artifacts of mankind, the automobiles that are left, that are left behind to show what we were all about. Uh, during our lifetime. You're welcome to come by and see them at uh, 217 Laurel Street. Our hours are on Saturday 
from 10 to 4 and on Sunday to 1 to 4. And uh, at this time, I'd like to invite you to our May show that we're going to be having May 14th here at the museum premises.